Every one one minute maths. Rationalising the denominator. That means we do not want the square root on the bottom. So if I multiply the top by root 2, I multiply the bottom by root 2. So you get whatever that number is, you multiply by itself on itself, which is the same as multiplying by 1. So the top becomes a root 2, and some people take a while to take this in. Root 2 by root 2 is actually root 4 if we do it the long way. And once the root of 4 is 2, that's root 2 on 2. This one over here, we, don't, we want to get rid of a root 3. So if I multiply by root 3 on the root 3 and see what happens, let's have a look what's happened. We're multiplied by 1, anything times 1 stays the same. So the top becomes a 2 root 3, and the bottom is a root 3 by root 3, which is root 9, which is just 3. So roots cancel each other out and stay the same. Then root 5, I multiply by root 5 on the root 5, and this time a little bit more complicated, because I end up with a 10 square root of 5, and the root 5 by root 5 is 5, and 5 in the 10 goes twice, and you've got 2 root 5.